sis at mga bro. Welcome sa aking YouTube channel and for today's episode ng aking vlog, I will be sharing to all of you guys my early favorites for Miss Universe 2019. Alam naman nating lahat na papalapit na ng papalapit ang Grand Coronation Night for Miss Universe sa December 9 na and everyone is so excited na malaman kung sino ang susunod na magiging queen of the universe and marami sa atin ang umaasa at nagdarasal ng back-to-back -back victory for the Philippines, ba? Diba? Na makuha sana ni Gazini Ganado Corona for this year. At dahil papalapit na nga ang Miss Universe 2019, for sure marami dito ang aligagana kung anong gagawin, kung paano makakanood ng Miss Universe, kanya-kanyang paraan ng mga bakla. Fighting! Tiwala lang, ma-approve ni boss yan, yung VL natin na yan. ba? Diba? At hoping na huwag sana tayo lahat mapunta sa Auto SL Club. So, I might be doing a separate vlog review for Gazini Ganados. Ano ba yung mga strong points niya? Ano ba yung mga advantage niya para mapanalunan ang Miss Universe? And ano yung mga bagay na pwede niyang i-take advantage pagdating niya sa Georgia for the Miss Universe competition. But for now, uh, i-share ko muna sa inyo yung sa tingin ko yung sampung candidates na magiging balakid ni Gazini Ganado sa pagkuha ng back-to-back -back victory for this year. Alam mo, ang dami ng uh, mga contestants, 90 plus confirmed contestants for this year and I'm pretty sure everyone is so excited to see all of them. Definitely, yung social media and the internet world has been very, very loud in reviewing and sharing their thoughts of this year's batch of Miss Universe candidates. So, ngayon, isa-isahin natin yung sampo na sa tingin ko ay magiging maipit na kalaban ni Gazini for the Miss Universe competition. Let's start! I think first on my list, undoubtedly, walang question, Puerto Rico. Siya yung isa sa mga candidate na unang-una ko naging favorite talaga. Parang the moment she was crowned Miss Universe Puerto Rico, alam kong magiging frontrunner siya for this year. She is beautiful, um, magaling yung performance niya during her national pageant, and alam yung feels niya kasi, yung parang ano, yung parang ay may mission to. Parang ganun. para binigyan siya ng mission to bring back the glory of Miss Universe to Puerto Rico. Kasi prior to last year ni Kiara Ortega, sobrang nanahimik ang Puerto Rico sa Miss Universe. So the, I think the last time they placed in the semifinals prior to Kiara was in 2013. So I'm pretty sure they want to bring back the glory to Puerto Rico this year. And you know, just to share, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I think, ha, apart from Venezuela and USA, si Puerto Rico lang yung country na nakakalamang sa Philippines in terms of number of crowns na nakuha for Miss Universe. You would know that Puerto Rico is a powerhouse and they want to win the crown this year. Ang ganda ng impact na ginagawa ngayon ni Puerto Rico all over social media. That's why she has always been part of so many reviews na magiging matunog for Miss Universe this year. And then, I have here on my list, Ireland. Ireland, si, uh, ang hirap bang kitin ang pangalan niya, girl. Fiong Gowala O'Reilly. When I saw her, parang sabi ko nga, girl, parang naging girl crush ko to. Kasi, ang ganda ng, ng features niya. Very unusual for, for an Irish candidate. ba? Usually, pag Irish, blonde hair na maputi, typical European look. But for this year, at the Miss Universe organization in Ireland, in their local pageant decided to to send a representative that is beyond the usual beauty of Ireland and I think it's going to be really interesting for this year's Miss Universe maganda siya um, I saw her video maganda yung performance niya local pageant niya yung walk niya and then napakaganda niya rin she is a very very good communicator so I'm excited to see her in the semifinals pangatlo sa listahan ko is na USA. Ashley Chris. Alam mo yun, yung parang lawyer as a Miss Universe? Why not? Diba? Lala ko tuloy si Patch Magtanong. Attorney Patch Magtanong. Alam mo, ay, say, alam mo, akala ko talaga siya na magiging international for 2019. But sadly, it was not her. Maybe may ibang plano para kay Attorney Patch. So I hope she would try either going for a blue crown or if magkaroon ng developments in terms of eligibility sana sumali siya for Miss Universe kasi tingin ko kayang-kaya niya eh. In fact, I was rooting 
for her during her binibining Pilipinas stint. Siya yung ting akala ko siya yung magiging Miss Universe. Pero wala akong question kay Gazini. She deserves to be our official representative for this year. Napakaganda ni Gazini. And malakas ang laban natin this year. So, hindi na ako magdadagdag kasi nga, di ba, may separate review nga ako for Gazini. Baka masyad ako ma-excite. Anyway, going back to USA, one good thing about USA, every time na nagpapadala sila ng candidate, they make sure that the candidate has a very, very good communication skills. Ayun yung isang bagay na hindi inalis ng USA sa kanila. Yun yung strong point lagi ng USA, ng mga candidates from the USA. They are good communicators. And knowing na... If ever, they will still use the same format this year as to kung ano yung naging format last year, then definitely USA has a great chance of going further to this year's competition. Kasi when they announced the top 20, parang lahat ng kandidata binigyan ng 15 seconds to introduce themselves. And I should say that hindi ganun, hindi yun madali. Kasi knowing na ma-announce ka to be part of the semi-finalists, talagang yung yung puso mo iba eh. yung yung kaba yung excitement halo-halo mix emotions pa yan eh and then bigla kang isasabak to public speaking that's very very tough for all the candidates and i think USA has mastered that kind of skill so USA has a great chance of winning i think next i have here is Mexico she did very well in her local pageant in terms of her face i am seeing Jimena Navarrete, meron silang resemblance, Miss Universe 2010, agandang Jimena Navarrete. So, I think Mexico will be a very, very strong contender this year. I like her walk, yung physical attributes niya, definitely noticeable siya pagdating sa Miss Universe competition. Fifth on my list is Vietnam. Alam mo na po, proud talaga ako sa Vietnam, T. Sa totoo lang, kasi... Last year, nagpadala sila ng very, very strong candidate. And, alam mo, last year, kung nakampante siguro si Catriona Gray, ha? At kung, di ba, kasi si Catriona sobrang consistent niya eh. Pero kung nakampante yan si Catriona last year, baka nasulot pa ni Vietnam yung title last year. Ganun ka-strong for me si Vietnam. This year, nagpadala na naman sila ng isang very strong contender. And one thing I like about Vietnam, yung strong point niya is Cat walk. Sobrang on point ng catwalk niya. At syempre dahil one, she won Vietnam's next top model. Number two, sumali siya sa top model of the world. Tapos nag-place pa siya to top 15 and nabigyan pa siya ng award na best catwalk. So you know that the candidate has already mastered the art of catwalking and definitely will bring fire to Miss Universe. Ganon! I have here, number 6 is Chile, Geraldine Gonzalez. Itong candidate na to ha, lagi ko siyang nakikita sa lahat ng reviews. Lagi siyang top 5 or top 3. Ganun siya, ganun kalakas yung social media presence ni Chile for this year's Miss Universe competition. Maraming nakaka-notice on how strong she is as a contender. Very strong yung walk, yung facial attributions na okay. And I'm so excited to see her perform in the Miss Universe. I'm seeing her going to either top 10 or going top 5. Next on my list is Indonesia. When I come up with my top 10, uh, marami akong mga candidates na winning way eh. Bina, tinitignan ko din kung talagang sino ba ilalagay ko sa top 10. Si ganito ba? Si ganyan ba? And Indonesia is part of that. I think Indonesia is a front runner, pero Nagahanap pa ako. Nagahanap pa ako ng something I consider her to be as a, as a legit frontrunner for Miss Universe. Pero so far, based on her national pageant performance, based on the photos and the videos that I'm seeing, she will definitely do good in Miss Universe. I am seeing at least a placement for her in the semi-finals. Isa pang napapansin ko sa mga Indonesia, in this recent years, Napapansin ko sa Indonesia, lagi siyang pumapasok na yun. Lagi siyang pumapasok na sa top 15. And para bang, alam mo yun, para siyang she's just around the corner. Parang ganun yung ginagawa ng Indonesia. Parang feeling ko, yung program ng Indonesia, kinakapapa nila kung paano nila maaalagwa yung Miss Universe title. It means na may ginagawa talaga yung, yung organization ng Indonesia para makuha nila yung title for Miss Universe. Malay mo, before we knew it. 
nasa taas na yung Indonesia, hindi natin na mamalaya. What I like about Indonesia is, ang ganda kasi ng communication skills niya eh. I remember Katrio Negri doing an interview with her the night after ng Puteri uh, Indonesia. Yun yung pageant ng Indonesia for you to be qualified for Miss Universe, Puteri Indonesia. So, yun, nagka-Facebook Live si Catriona Gray na ginest niya si um, Indonesia. And in fairness to Indonesia, maganda yung communication skills niya. So, let's see what she can offer to this year's Miss Universe. Alam mo tong huling tatlong to, nababanggitin ko, ito yung palagay ko talagang sobrang mahihirapan si Gazini. Parang, kung ako si Gazini, kung ako lang naman, kung ako si Gazini, ah, I will keep an eye to these contestants. Kasi, ito talaga yung mga very, for me, very, very strong contenders along with Puerto Rico kanina. First, I have South Africa. South Africa is freaking hot and sizzling. Umaapoy siya, Mouch. She is oozing with so much fierceness. Para siyang ano, kung i-describe ko siya, para siyang lampara. Tapos yung mga kalaban niya, yung mga kalaban niya, gamo-gamo. And she was like, huh, subukan niyo talagang dumikit. Subukan niyo talaga. Ganon. Yung parang pag dumikit ka, talaga namang sisilab ka talaga. I feel like something big is happening for South Africa this year. Every year naman ang pinapadala ng South Africa, magagaling yung communication skills. And definitely, ang isang napansin ko din sa mga pinapadala ng South Africa, yung advo kasi na bring up nila sa plate ng Miss Universe, I think yun din yung isang bagay kung kaya laging nakaka-place eh, yung South Africa to the semifinals kasi yung Miss Universe organization kinukonsider lagi yung kung ano yung nagiging advo kasi ko. I'm not really sure though with that. Pero parang feeling ko yun, nakukuha ng South Africa yung interest ng Miss Universe organization and even the judges I, I think dahil nga, pag, pag nagbabanggit na sila ng, ng mga advocacies, kasi I think yung Italian organization ng South Africa has been very active in, in doing advocacy works. Pinopromote din nila na the candidates will be exposed to social issues. South Africa will go far to this pageant. And then I have here Brazil. Ah, sobrang ganda niya. Si Julia Horta. What I like about Julia Horta is she is this kind of beauty na alam mong mararamdaman mong strong yung personality niya pero hindi ka may intimidate Nakikita ko kasi sa kanya si ano, Brooke Lee ng USA. Lagi siyang game. She's always ready. But at the same time, hindi siya yung intimidating. Kung baka parang feeling ko magiging fun, magiging fun siyang kasama talaga. Definitely Miss Universe will need someone who has a strong personality, who can stand up and who can be able to speak in front of many people and mas napaniniwalaan ng mga tao talaga. Maraming nagsasabi na overrated daw masyado si Brazil. I think I have to disagree with that. Kasi number one, hindi pa naman nag-uumpisa yung laban. So we don't know what performance she will give in the Miss Universe. So wag mo na natin pangunahan. Malay mo, may ilalabas pa. And definition nyo ng overrated is laging pinapakita sa social media, laging sinasama sa ganito, laging, sinasa laging nakikita natin sa mga favorites, sa mga reviews, sa social media, sa internet, sa mga videos, sa mga pictures. Then, sinasabi nyo rin na overrated si Gazini. Kasi Gazini, ako magkabilangan tayo ng, ng, ng mga posts, ng mga reviews sa internet talaga namang isa din si Gazini. At saka si Chile, di ba? For me, hindi, I don't think Brazil is an overrated candidate unless makita natin yung performance niya sa Miss Universe. And then, my 10th, 10th on the list is Rapid Bye! Thailand! Sorry ka! Siya yung kandidata talaga na para siyang mortal na kaaway siya sa corona for this year. Sobrang gustong gusto ko kasi talaga siya. Sobrang gustong gusto ko kasi talaga yung performance niya sa National Pageant ngayon sa Miss Universe Thailand. She is prepared. She is ready. Actually, nakikita ko nga sa kanya si Katriong Nagrini in terms of preparation. Alam mo yun, yung parang gawin na natin yung Miss Universe bukas, ready siya. Gawin na natin yung Miss Universe ngayon, ready na siya. Ganun siya ka-prepared for me. Yung lakad, yung poi ang overall ng pagka, pagkakahanda niya kasi for, for Miss Universe. And, you know, given na uh, her experience to so many pageants, talaga namang nahubong na rin talaga si Miss Thailand for this year's 
competition. So ayun, that's it guys. I think yun yung sampung kandidata na sa tingin ko pahihirapan si Gazini Ganados for this year's Miss Universe. I did not include Colombia and Venezuela in my top 10 because I have some issues lang siguro. Venezuela are pretty faces. Magagandang mga kandidata. Sobrang magagandang kandidata. And we all know that these two countries are strong contenders over the years and they will make sure na hindi sila papakabog sa Miss Universe. Pero what I'm seeing kasi this year, so far ha, parang feeling ko dun sa mga videos at saka sa mga photos na pinapakita hindi pa ganun ka strong. Parang I, I, I'm kind of feeling na hindi pa all out yung pinapakita nila sa social media. And kinukutuban ako ngayon na, na dahil nga hindi pa all out yung performance na pinapakita nila so far, feeling ko nire-reserve nila yung energy nila sa main event. So I will also keep an eye to these two candidates for this year's pageant. But nevertheless, Colombia and Venezuela are also strong contenders for this year. And that's it guys, uh, dito ko na i-end tong vlog na to. Kung meron kayong mga countries na sa tingin nyo ay early favorite, then please feel free to comment on this video. Mag-subscribe na rin po kayo sa channel ko and hit nyo na rin po yung bell for more notifications as I will be doing more Miss Universe reviews and let's have more conversation. Comment lang po kayo kung sa tingin ninyo ay eh, yung aking early favorites are also your favorites or baka meron pa po kayo mga ibang kandidata na si tingin ninyo ay aalagwa for this year's pageant. That's it. Thank you so much guys for watching. Let's all be confidently beautiful with the heart.